Okay, so this is the uh, assembly video for the pellet basket or the stick basket, depending on what you want to burn. Here's one already put together. And this is with the pellet plate in. And I'm going to show you how to make it with the pellet plate or without the pellet plate. You can also so wear how to take that out if it's already in. So it's fairly straightforward. It's got one little tricky bit, which is this bolt here. I've threaded, tapped a thread into the side plates in this one hole. So all the other holes are <clears throat> not threaded, only this one hole. And the reason for that is, is we, because this slides into a, into the um, burn position, it's got side panels on each side. So there's no, pos no space on the side to put a nut on the outside. I have put a nut on the inside just to kind of lock it in place. This was kind of an afterthought. I actually designed this system to not have uh, bolts hold it together. But after playing with it a little bit, I realized that yes, it is a, um, just more stable and um, just nicer to use if it does have this bolt here. So don't panic if you can't get it in. Uh, the whole system is designed to work without it, but it does, it does make this end of the pellet basket just that much more rigid. Okay, so very simply, let's do it. <clears throat> I put it together in, first of all, with the pellet basket, pellet plate, that's that one, um, which is optional. This one needs to be there. Now that you can see by the slots, they these pieces only fit one location, so it's not like there's anything confusing about that. Now, it's really that simple. You put this plate in, if you're going to burn something granular, like pellets, or if you have access to something like macadamia shells or something, you know, small granular biomass, this will uh, give you a more optimal burn because it holds the fuel in this V here and the airflow comes underneath and runs through those holes and you get an optimized burn. With the sticks, it'll still work with sticks like that, but I find the sticks will burn just because of the, the, um, the, the nature of the airflow around the sticks. If you take that out, the sticks will come down lower and they'll rest against this plate and you'll get airflow coming up through here and through the sticks uh, and get drawn up into the rocket. So I find it much better without that plate when you're burning sticks which is probably going to be most of you, so let's do it like that. Um, now what we're going to do, brother, obviously that will just drop on, but before we do that, take this guy with no domes and thread it in. Put it here so I can see it. And I'm going to thread it through more than you would have it so that um, we don't want it to interfere on this side when we line up these slots. So we're just going to line the tabs and slots and it's just a little bit of jiggling. Okay, they're completely flush. This is all three mil plate steel, it's very solid. And see what I'm doing, I'm just threading that back and see how I just threaded back so that that's now locked in. And then um, you just spin up the locking nut on each side to just lock that in position. Now I'm just gonna rotate this carefully over so it doesn't unpack right so that's how it looks like so and then the other end this is the handle you just take whoops just take off one dome try not to drop it on the floor like i just did uh, in fact take off both domes thread those two in a little bit you've got to thread it in one side and then through and then center that and then just spin those be careful not to spin it too far that you're going to widen more, so I'd actually leave it a little bit loose, put the dome on, because you want the domes to be, to close in those panels, uh, what about that one? Another one. I'm going to hold those panels nice and firm, and then we can lock these ones like so. And that's it. We just use our tool um, or a spanner. I don't have a tool handy, so I'm just going to use my little shifter, trusty shifter, just to 
lock those nuts against the material and the same here I'm just going to lock I'm still not over tightening I'm just doing it up firm enough so that it locks great that slides into the lower chamber of the rock stove we've got one with the pellet basket one without this is an air controller I find that actually okay this is important when I'm burning sticks I find it more important to use this it slows down the amount of air coming through the back and it encourages the airflow to come from the top because you want the sticks to um, draw the air down across the sticks and up through this side um, if you can imagine the rocket system has got the feeder on this side and it's got the updraft on this side so I find that that encourages more air to come down to the top and it uh, reduces the amount of back smoke. When I'm burning pellets I've got the lid closed on the feeder so and I and I actually like the air coming in through the back here uh, and drawing through those slots or past those slots and up and under the thing so slightly different burning conditions with pellets and sticks um, and that's the two differences.